Hi, I'm Sabine Yaakov. This presentation is the abridged coverage of a PCM 2023 paper to be presented as a poster and published in the conference proceedings. The title of the paper is Utterly Simple Capacitor Precharger Based on a Unique Floating Integrator. The authors are Sam Benyakov, that's me, the presenter of this video, Evgeny Semidochik, Oded Arlevsky, and Paul Price. Few words about myself. I am an Emeritus Professor of Ben Gurion University and also a Chief Innovation Officer of IRP System Israel. If you are interested in more detail, please stop the play and you can read this brief description. This video includes a brief description of conventional capacitor precharger, introduction to a new analog integrator which we call the floating integrator, application of the integrator as a capacitor precharger, implementation in an e-mobility inverter, and some experimental results. There is a problem of connecting a battery to a capacitor. I'm showing here a simple scheme, and here is the inductance of the cable connecting the two. Now, if we just connect the two as is, then we are expecting a very high peak current. Theoretically, it's the voltage divided by the characteristic impedance, and this could be a very high current, theoretically and practically, so this could actually damage the capacitor. To remedy this, the conventional approach is to use a precharger, and this is the simplified version of it. Here is a precharge path having a switch and a power resistor. We charge the capacitor via the resistor, and this is the profile, and then we turn on the switch, the main switch, and turn off the auxiliary switch, and the system is ready for operation. Another approach would be to use a MOSFET as a series element, power element, but in this case there are some problems. First of all, there might be quite a bit of a high current, it's very difficult to control it, even if you are putting capacitor to slow down because the gain is very high. And then also we might exceed the safe operating area. For example, if this is a 50 volt battery, then at the beginning we have all the voltage of the battery across the transistor because the capacitor still has a zero voltage. So then in this particular case, for this particular transistor, the maximum current could be like 10 amp. So there is also a problem of safe operating area. So in general, however, we might say that the conventional approach needs two switches and a power element to pass the current during the charging. The precharger described in this paper is entirely different. It is based on what we call a floating integrator, and let me just give a brief introduction to it. A full analysis is given in the paper. So what we have here is a transconductance amplifier. Input is voltage, output is current. We have a driver here. It's a floating driver. And what happens here is that if the gain of this amplifier is high, then the voltage between the two input terminals is approaching zero, and consequently the voltage across this resistor is actually the input voltage because here we have zero as far as the driver goes. So therefore the current here will be here the voltage divided by this resistor. Now the input impedance of this uh, amplifier is assumed to be high, so therefore the current cannot go here, but it will pass through this capacitor. And as a result, the voltage of the capacitor will rise linearly, the current over the capacitance times time. This will be the voltage here. Now since the voltage between the terminals is approaching zero, this is also the voltage here, which is the voltage on this capacitor which is being charged. So consequently, the voltage of this capacitor will also rise linearly, and the current of it will be a reflection of the current here, scaled by this ratio. So the current, the charging current, is the ratio of these capacitances times the input current. So therefore we have here an arrangement 
that will charge a capacitor by a constant current. Now a MOSFET is actually a transconduction amplifier, if this is the input and this is the output, except that it has some threshold, that is it will start operating in the linear mode after reaching the threshold voltage, which is just an offset. So here is how we can use a MOSFET to do the same operation as I've shown with the transconduction amplifier. We have the same driver. We have the MOSFET as an amplifier and the capacitor will be charged according to this equation, which is the input voltage divided by the resistance. This is the current and then scaled by this ratio of capacitances. This capacitor, of course, is much smaller than this one and the current here will be the current of this capacitor time the ratio between the two. Now in a practical system we are going to have a main switch and I'm showing here a parallel transistor as the main switch or latch we call it and so we can use this as part of the precharger that is we don't need anything else we just use this same switch as the precharger. So we have here the driver this is the resistor. I've added here a parallel path for fast turn off. And again, what we're going to have here is that the current charging the bank of capacitors here will be proportional to the current of this capacitor. Now, if this capacitor is nonlinear, for example, X7R, having a high capacitance at low voltage and then it goes down, this will be very beneficial because when the capacitor is higher, then the current here will be lower. So this actually helps to prevent the problem of the self-operating area. So the current will start low and then it will go high. Now the precharger that we've designed includes a charge pump type of a driver, simplifies very much the system and the cost of course. What we have here is a flying capacitor, which is charging this capacitor in parallel to the gate source and then being discharged through this path through this dial. So this is really very simple to implement and very economical. And here are some experimental results. What we see here is the voltage across the bank of capacitor. It is not exactly linear because we have been using an X7R capacitor so the current at the beginning is lower and then it goes up. We see the charging current, which is of course very well controlled and the voltage of the capacitor. So let me summarize that this new precharger can be turned on and off with one command signal, has a constant current charging, practically no additional component over the basic switch or latch except for a resistor and capacitor of low power, and it solved a safe operating area problem. So this brings me to the end of this presentation. I thank you very much for your attention. If you have some question, please don't hesitate to write to me at this email address. Thank you very much.